Yo, 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 what's going on, gamers? Your boy, I'm Maverick, a.k.a. Mr. Fresh Loose Leaf, back on the Auction House series. And, um, uh, let's get into it. Let's get our beat going. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been helping your boy. I really do appreciate that. I really, really want to take the time to, to stress that to you guys. It means a lot, um, just for you guys that are, one, supportive with me trying to get better at this game. You know, not a lot of people are bold enough to post a game that they know they suck at. Uh, just because, you know, the YouTube comments can be real, real harsh. But, like, I do appreciate everyone that's taking the time to both help me understand the game, help with the roster, with just players, how things work. And so that means a lot. Um, and I don't always, there's some videos I don't leave any comments on, but I'll see, like, I don't reply to any comments, but I'll see the comments. Just because I got so many videos, and sometimes I'm moving so fast, like, I just quickly skim stuff. Um, but I appreciate it, so just don't, um, and obviously I'll never be able to reply to everybody, but just know that, you know, you might be leaving comments that never get replied to, and you think they never get seen because they don't get replied to, but even if it's just you saying that you enjoy the series, you enjoy the video, that you're showing support, or you're just helping me out, or even just giving me feedback or criticism, but it's constructive criticism, and you're not being rude, I just want to say I appreciate that, so it means a lot, thank you, um, and now specific to this series, it was cool. Uh, I kind of feel like I understand the 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 difference. The question I was asking. So what is the difference between the shot close and like the post hook and the standing layup? And here's what I gathered. And and from from you from some of you trying to explain it, I think some of you guys are confused too. So, but here's what I think. And, it, and this makes sense. Here's the conclusion. And this is all from the help I've got from you guys and the little knowledge I know from playing the game. I think the post hook is when you legit back down, have your back to the basket, you shoot it, um, you know, towards the hoop, and you get the hook animation. Post hook, right? That was a pretty easy one. The shot close is when you're close to the hoop and you actually get a shot off, and it's like where you actually see the shot meter and your timing matters. It's not just the animation, that shot close, and standing layup slash standing dunk is when you're actually near the hoop and they put a shot up for example like you get the rebound and you go back up and there might be contact or whatever but they put it up um, but with that there's no timing on it it's just the animation that is standing layup or they go up and dunk it standing dunk that's what I think if anyone disagrees or think that I have that wrong please you know feel free to clarify I'm still learning here but that's what I think makes the most sense and a lot of you guys were touching on that, so. Nice. Looks like everybody sold that we put up. Um, so this video, we are going to check out a few more players that you guys suggested for the post position and possibly make an upgrade this video. Uh, but first, let's put up a few players. Let's put up... Sometimes my screen is... Is that David Wingate? David Wingate, am I saying that right? So let's put him up. Still grinding out that VC, man. We'll probably have another pack opening like tomorrow or something. Yo, let me know in the comments. Here's question of the day. Did anyone see the video that Chris Smooth posted? Um where he basically went in on this is his second one people have been tagging me in them on twitter both times um where chris move went in on just the on 2k for their on how bad the my team mode is he just talks about how bad they release cards and how they release the same they, they'll they'll release you know at the beginning of the year they'll release a card of a player and then they'll release that same player later in the year and that player is worse um and uh what am I doing? I haven't even checked him out. And then his last video was talking about how hard it is to earn MT versus how easy it is to earn coins in Madden with like solo challenges and stuff. And I thought both of his videos had valid points and he went in on both of them. Um and so uh I thought that was interesting though. I thought he thought he made some good sense. I was just reminded of that as I saw the same silver card of the guy that we just put up. I don't know if there one was, you know, 
you know, better or what, but it just reminded me. It's crazy for Smooth to go in like that, too. Um, definitely respect that. For someone that really could, like, suck up to 2K and probably get a lot of perks from them and a lot of love from them. Uh, for him to just kind of speak his mind, I thought was legit. Kufos. We're going to try and get ours up for a thousand. I really been liking 2K lately too, y'all. Sometimes you can't tell. <laughs> Crap. I didn't even look at that fool's first name. Was it the one with the D? It was Jeff. Um... I uh, I've been I've been like I've been having fun with 2K man. I'm liking the my team grind. You know, just desperately trying to get better at this game mode. Let me do some quick math real quick. If I put this full up for 800. Eight hundred, fifteen percent of eight hundred, one twenty. So then we're making less money. I put them up for eight fifty times fifteen. It's one twenty seven. That's less. Okay, nine hundred, fifteen percent, one thirty five. Okay. So nine hundred should be the least we ever put a silver up for. Kelly I'm just about to put him up man I right, he'll probably be the he'll probably be one of the last guys we do too I don't want to make this too long I want to start getting into the research portion uh, we'll go 950. Alrighty. Yeah, that's good for now. Uh Alright. So, alright, here's what I wanted to look at, y'all. Mark Eaton. That was someone you guys suggested. Was it was he one of them? Yes, seven four. Seven four. Okay, he's definitely cheap too. Eighty three overall though. Um, Ninety eight standing dunk. Eighty four standing layup. Eh. Wish that was a little bit higher. Low post defense IQ 99. How does the low post defense IQ work? Does that have anything like what is that just if it's the computer controlling them? 95 defensive consistency, 99 block. How 55 shot contest though? You should have like 85, 90 shot contests by default if you're 74. Okay, so he's cool for blocking shots. What's his rebounding? 80 box out. Nah, post hook 71. 58 post fade, rebounding, not what I'd like to see. So probably not Mark Eaton. Um, who else? Who else? Hold on, hold on. I can't find the other guy. Okay. This dude has a weird name.
This guy. I think I played against this guy. He's 7-7. Seven, seven. I think I played against this guy and I hated it. Ninety standing layup, ninety seven standing dunk, seventy five post control, eighty five post hook, sixty four post fader, ninety one offensive rebounding, eighty five defensive rebounding, eighty box out, eighty three block, eighty two shot contest. Really though, that's it. No, I don't like that. I kind of want to. I kind of want to pick. How much is he? Dang, he goes for a lot though. I I feel like he might be good just because he's tall though. Like, let me know in the comments. What do y'all think? Is he good just because I kind of like height and Madden? Like, of course you want like the catching traffic and the and the spec catch and stuff that helps. Kind of like the standing. Uh, kind of like the block and the shot contest ratings help, but just having a tall receiver allows you to do some things. Maybe just his height will actually help have him rebounding higher than his stats portray. I don't know. Let me know. Um, someone else was talking about KG's low post moves, which we actually knew, huh? He just had, he didn't have, I thought he had one or the other. Defense, de decent defensive rebounding, 81 post fade, 71 post hook, 98 post control. Okay, so I'm not really impressed by that, though. I'm really not. I would like to see higher ratings than that. So, KG's not going to count as our scorer. But I want to pick someone up. Let me double check Bosch's again. See, Bosch is better in the post. Okay, Dirk's got the post fade. Russell's got the post hook. I think we're going with Timmy D, y'all. I think we're going with Timmy Buckets. And we will try him out a little bit later. I'm pretty sure we're going with the with, with old Timmy D. Um, what do we have against Moses Malone? Height. We're not too far from being able to afford Shaq either, though. There's also Wilt Chamberlain. -y. Oh, I don't know anymore. Hold on. 99 standing, 99 standing layup. 91 post hook. Ninety nine offensive rebound, ninety nine defensive rebound, ninety nine box out, ninety four block, ninety five shot contest. Uh, I think that's the move, y'all. We're gonna check. Uh, what was uh? Hold on, do they have um? Timmy D's listed as powerful. No, okay. So his just standing layup was a little bit lower.
All right, so they do have them as power forward. So when you search power forwards, it goes with the power forward slash center players. The center players don't come up. Or y'all know what I mean. When you search power forward, the center slash power forward guys don't come up. Just the power forward slash center guys come up. Ninety nine standing layup. So not gonna dunk it, which I'm not too worried about. 96 post control, 96 post hook, 88 post fader. Rebounding isn't as strong. What's defense? I think that block and the shot contest are higher. Let's see the mid range 85, 78. This is the this is a tough decision, man. Shot contest is the same, at least on this ruby. So here's what my mind's telling me. We go with Wilt if we're more worried about the rebounding. But if we want a slight edge in scoring and more of a mid-range game as well, we go with Timmy D. We're going Timmy D, y'all. Timmy D it is. Timmy D come to Papa. Oh. Get him for the low low too. Well, that's not that bad of a price. One eleven. Let's do it. Welcome to the La Familia. Let me know how y'all feel about the Timmy D pickup. You guys are going with Timmy D or Wilt. Um, the best part about my hey, this is um I like that as a replacement right there. I like that as a replacement. I ain't been feeling KG anyway. Now the question is, do we keep Noah? Cause here's the thing though, like we could always go back for Wilt and replace of Noah. Cause Noah ain't gonna be here long term. I've just been a fan of him for his defense, but. This just shows the offensives. All right, we'll just run with this lineup, I'm thinking, for now. And then maybe next video we'll go into looking deeper at, you know, replacing Noah. And just, because then our, our post might be settled. I'm happy with Dirk and, and, and Russell, or uh, Billy Buckets. And then I think I like Timmy D and then one more person. And then we'll start focusing on our other players. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know your thoughts overall. Thoughts overall. So far, I'm happy. I'm happy. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. We're going to wrap this up. Till next time, God first. God bless.